welcome friends so today we'll be starting with problem on arches so first let us note down the problem a 3 inch parabolic arch of 30 meter span and 5 meter rise is subjected to point load of 80 kilonewtons at 10 meters from left support first Calculate reactions, draw bending moment diagram, find NT and RS at 12 meters from left support. First, we'll draw the diagram. Let this be the arch. Point A, B, rise C. horizontal span L is equal to 30 meters rise H is equal to 5 meters so center span L by 2 is equal to 15 meters it is a 3 hinged arches so hinge at A hinge at B and hinge at C. A point load is acting at 10 meters from left support. So 10 meters will be the horizontal distance. Let this be point D 80 kilonewtons. <coughs> First step will be to calculate reactions as usual I am going to analyze this as a beam a simply supported beam summation of moments about A is equal to 0 keep your finger at A start analyzing all right hand moments will be positive let this reaction be VB at B vertical reaction VA horizontal reaction H and another horizontal reaction H so start with moments at B about A is equal to 0 start from B go towards A minus VB into 30 force into perpendicular distance plus 80 into 10 80 into perpendicular distance is 10 is equal to 0 therefore VB is equal to 26.67 kilonewtons similarly I can write next equation summation of moments about B is equal to 0 analyze the beam about hinge B start from A go towards B VA into 30 minus 80 into 20 is equal to 0 from here to here this is 10 from point D to B horizontal distance will be this is 5 from here to here this is 15 so 20 VA is equal to 53.33 kilo newtons now since there is hinge at C 
even i can write summation of moments about c is equal to 0 as you know bending moments about hinge will be 0 so either i can analyze left or right so for my reference i am going to consider right hand side so consider part of the arch between c and b only forget a and c from c to b now let us write the equation start from b go towards c let the first force be vb vb into perpendicular distance perpendicular distance between b and c is 15 vb into 15 sign for b will be negative because this produces anti clockwise next next force is h this h produces clockwise and my clockwise moments are positive plus h into perpendicular distance force h is acting in this direction so i want the perpendicular distance this is the perpendicular distance 5 meters so h into 5 is equal to 0 i know value of vb minus 26.66 into 15 plus h into 5 is equal to 0 or h is equal to 80 kilo newtons so these are the reactions so next step will be to find rise and slope equation rise and slope equation for three hinged arch rise equation y is equal to 4 h by l square x l minus x now here h is equal to 5 l span is 30 so y is equal to 4 into 5 divided by 30 square into x l is 30 30 minus x therefore y is equal to 0 0.667 x minus 0 0.022 x square this is rise equation from rise equation i can find slope equation slope equation is equal to differentiate rise equation with respect to x dy by dx is equal to tan theta is equal to differentiating this equation 0.667x so this gives me 0.66 minus 0.022 into 2x so that will give me minus 0.44x <coughs> this is slope equation so this completes another part our next part will be to draw bending moment diagram first since hinge is at a moments about a is equal to zero similarly at b also there is a hinge so moments at b are zero third moment at c c is also hinge point so moment at c will be zero next let me calculate moment at point d moment at this location let this distance be y d so moment at d m d is equal to try to look at this diagram so moment at this point md two forces are acting va and h so i can write the equation moment at d va into perpendicular distance is x that is 10 meters minus h into 
perpendicular distance of this till here so from here till here that distance is y d and y do i am going to calculate by rise equation so moment at d m d is equal to V A into ten minus H into Y D. So Y D is equal to zero point six six X minus zero point two two zero point zero two two X square. This is rise equation. Substitute X is equal to ten. Because point D is at ten meters distance from point A, therefore Y D is equal to zero point six six into ten minus zero point zero two two into ten square. So Y D is equal to four point four seven meters. Therefore, M D is equal to substitute value of Y D in this equation and get the value of M D. Is equal to fifty three point three three into ten minus eighty into four point four seven. So moment at D is equal to one seventy five point seven kilo newton meter. Next, I am going to calculate moment between point C and B. C and B. Let me draw another diagram. Let this be point B. This be point C. This is VB is equal to twenty six point six seven. Yh is equal to eighty. This span. Is L by two is equal to fifteen, or C is at the mid span. This is rise five meters. I am going to calculate at midpoint at point E. Let this be point E, and this is at distance seven point five meters. From here to here, this is fifteen meters. I am going to calculate at seven point five meters using rise equation. Y is equal to zero point six six x minus zero point zero two two x square. X is equal to seven point five. Y e is equal to three point seven six five meters. You can get this by substituting values here. Now moment at E M E is equal to this is my sign convention. Right hand force is anti clockwise or positive. M E is equal to twenty six point six seven into perpendicular distance seven point five minus H into perpendicular distance. This is E and this line Y E minus eighty into Y E substitute Y E is equal to three point seven six five. You get the value M E is equal to minus one zero one kilo newton meters. Now I have to draw the bending moment diagram. So to draw the bending moment diagram, first draw the arch. This is A B. C. This is point D. Moment at A is zero, C is zero, B is zero. Moment at D is one seventy five. Mark the point. Moment at E is minus one zero one. This is the bending moment diagram. 
now we'll go for the next to calculate components nt and rs at 12 meters from left support let us look at this diagram so i need to calculate at this point let that point be f let this vertical distance be yf this point is at a distance of 12 meters from left support now h is equal to 80 kN constant v is equal to shear force at this location shear force at this location so that is summation of vertical forces so vertical forces between a and f are va and at kN so upward forces are positive so va minus at that is 53.23 minus at so v is equal to shear force at 12 meters v is equal to va minus at that is 53.23 minus at is equal to minus 26.67 kilo newtons now using slope equation tan theta is equal to dy by dx is equal to tan theta is equal to 0.667 minus 0.044x at x is equal to 12 meters tan theta is equal to 0.06 0.667 minus 0.044 into 12 that is equal to 0.139 or theta is equal to 7.9 degrees now i have the equation nt is equal to h cos theta plus v sin theta that value i get it as 75.56 kN radial shear rs is equal to h sin theta minus v cos theta so i get that value as 37.42 kN so this completes the problem i will share an assignment problem for you go through these things also i will be sharing these notes on the whatsapp group thank you